There's really no getting around the fact that the Christmas story is all about people and events on the edge of things. It's a story about individuals who are very far indeed from the levers of influence and control. And so, not surprisingly, it's a story about people at risk. Luke's Gospel relates a stressful, unchosen journey to a government registration point. Matthew's tells us about fleeing from a village where there's been a massacre. A heavily pregnant woman waiting in a queue with soldiers pointing weapons. A family on the run trying not to remember the sight of slaughtered children. These are painfully familiar things in today's world. But the story is not simply about how appalling human experience can be. The Christmas story announces that within these extreme moments, something is coming to birth that will change everything. God doesn't change the world by planning and commanding from outside or by force or threat. God shows what is possible by taking the worst we can think of and showing that even there some deep possibility is always alive. The deep possibility that is God's own unbroken love and commitment to the world. The strangeness, the shocking quality of this can only be shown when it's completely divorced from our usual ideas about power or influence. Christmas reminds us that we're usually looking in the wrong place for hope, for radical change. Change comes from the edges, from people who are habitually thought of as helpless or unimportant, because they know the emptiness of struggling for advantage and status. If they have survived, it's because they found a deep rootedness in human values and visions other than those of the anxious and powerful. Quite simply, these are the heart of God's people, as Jesus says in the Sermon on the Mount. And these, we hope and pray, are Christian AIDS people, the people we trust and respect enough to believe that they themselves can make real for all of us the deepest kind of change. Just as in Bethlehem 2,000 years ago, they are where the change starts. These are the real Christmas angels. <laughs>